32 years in uh, public school teaching, I still did shows. I was blessed to have played with uh, Frank Sinatra for four and a half years, and Natalie Cole, and a million weddings and bar mitzvahs. And uh, between that, private teaching is how I supported my family along with teaching in the school system. But now that I'm retired, I spend the majority of my time uh, doing prison ministry with Solid Rock Ministry. And I have such a passion of sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with the incarcerated church. And that's what I'm doing. That and raising, uh, helping my wife raise our grandchildren and helping out our, uh, our, our kids. And uh, Michael, Justin, and Priscilla. Priscilla's married to Aaron. And We've got uh, Caleb, Isaiah, and now Bella Rose, my first granddaughter, and my oldest, Michael Anthony. And uh, which leads me to 2018, when Melvin Quinones uh, presented me with the opportunity to play a growling sax. Uh, and man, I tell you, that horn, these horns are stupid. <laughs> I mean, if you know what I mean, these are ridiculous horns. I've, I've been raised uh, with my dad and owning a music store. I had, you know, Selmer's. My first uh, clarinet was an Olds, but he soon gave me a Series 9 clarinet. And then later on, I bought my son a uh, buffet and uh, my saxes were Mark Sixes. He got me a, my dad got me a Mark Six built in 1971. I think it was 186,000 serial number. And then my late teacher from the University of Miami, uh, where I went to school, I was able to purchase his uh, balanced action made in 1934. And since I played the origin series, on that one date. As a matter of fact, you can see the video that I did on YouTube when I was playing Body and Soul. The, the very minute Melvin put this horn in my hands, um, those other two saxophones are still in the case. Um, so anybody who hears this, you owe it to yourself to try and experience these instruments because the instruments are so incredibly expressive, uh, balanced, in tune. They'd be more in tune if I practiced more. But we, and and I wish I had the availability of these instruments when I was in school uh, teaching because we had all the other brands. You name the brand, we had those brands. But for the price, there is nothing on the market that is comparable. Uh, as a matter of fact, I just uh, tried the uh, their top of the line flute, and I play a Miyazawa, and this plays just as well, if not better. Um, 
So in any event, uh, that brings me up to today, sitting in Melvin's new studio, telling a story. I hope it blesses you.